my name is Beck. I am one of the academics and a registered nurse here at Murdoch University and I'm just going to take you through what a hi-fi simulation looks like. I would say that simulation is an opportunity for the students to really have a go at their new found skills, to apply their knowledge before they go out into clinical placement. The mannequin is high fidelity, which means that it has a palpable pulse, we can take a real blood pressure, it breathes, it blinks, we can change pupil sizes. So it's kind of as close as they are going to get to a real experience without having a real patient. As the academic, we plan the hi-fi simulation. We make sure that the outcomes are really clear for the student and that nothing is a surprise. So if they're going to be practicing a skill within the scenario, they've always been taught it. They've attended labs, they've attended tutorials. They should be fully up to date when they walk into that room. So we're not expecting them to do something that they've not learned before. And then they go into the simulation and I walk them around the room and make sure they know where everything is because there's nothing worse than um, not being able to find something and then yeah I hand over the patient to them feels like a real scenario they know that they can talk to the patient that the patient will talk back to them so when we are controlling the simulation we have amazing sim technicians so all of our sim technicians are registered nurses they just work behind the scenes to make everything as lifelike as it can be so they go behind the glass and they control the mannequin it's very much a team behind there. So I, as the debriefer, we see how the scenario is going. We give as little or as much information as we want to. We can control the settings of the mannequin. We can increase the respirate. We can lower the blood pressure, knowing that every group is really different. How they approach the scenario, if someone takes on a leader role, how they're going to work as a team. So it's great having that control from behind the glass, really, to give them their best experience. Yeah, I feel very confident after doing a simulation because in the future I need to practice in a real, real life scenarios. My favourite thing with them is they are more lifelike than you expect them to be. It's really helpful just to see not only how you react in those situations, but just how the teamwork plays out with everyone because nursing is all about teamwork. It's good to have that exposure so then when you're actually faced with a scenario where this will happen, because it will happen, it's not completely foreign to you. It does make me feel very confident to be able to, you know, uh, work as a nurse in a real life situation. It, the simulation has helped a lot. It's very useful. I love the simulations as much as the students do. When they are in there, I feed off their energy as well. Once they've finished, we go into this room and we sit in a circle and we debrief. So I find the debrief is actually the most important part of the simulation. Uh, we use a technique called advocacy inquiry and that just means that we don't tell the students what they've done well or what they should have done better. They get an opportunity to really reflect on their practice and come to the answers themselves. I find if we tell them the answer, then they're less likely to change their practice, but if they come to the answer themselves and reflect because they always have the answers, they're just deep in there, they just have to really think about it. Then they will learn and then they'll, it'll shape their future practice, which is ultimately what the goal is. Yeah.